So I am Camila. I'm here with Mark Bom to talk about KDEV. That's completing 15 years this year, 2012. So how did you get involved with KDE? How did you start? Well, I was young and I needed the money. Um, no, that's not quite it. Um, so it was, I think, 96 or 97 that I had to do programming classes in, at university. And I didn't feel like well, completing exercises and handing them in just to throw them away afterwards. So I was looking for a reasonable project to invest my time in. And that was about when KDE started. Um, so I decided to um, well, learn programming more or less on KDE. That's how I got involved. So I initially was a developer for quite some time. And then um, in 1999, uh, Martin Conard asked me to run as a board member. Um, Mostly because I also had a, well, somewhat of a hand to get things got, done and to help other people organize their um, their work. So it was a good fit, I think. And then I was on the board from 1999 to 2006. Okay, cool. And what's the job of KDEV and its board? Well, KDEV is a support organization for the KDE community. So KDE builds. Well, at the time it was a desktop project and we were developing um, the new Linux desktop um, after it was in a really bad uh, shape before we started. Um, and KDEV was founded to support this community with, um, with those kinds of tasks where you need a legal entity for. Um, for example, to accept donations, to um, engage into contracts, to organize events and conferences and these kinds of things. And it's usually easier to get this done um, with an organization behind you um, as it represents really more than individual people and has some more continuity. So you have been involved in for quite a long time in KDE and mm -hmm. the KDE community and the KDEV. So what makes uh, KDEV special? What makes it special in my opinion is that um, KDEV is run by the community um, we have no single company or like important sponsor that, who is influencing how KDE is developed. Um, that is also the reasoning behind the, the understanding that KDE supports KDE, but not, doesn't, for example, set a technical direction. So um, the KDE community is today still relatively independent in the direction of, the, of uh, in which KDE is developed. And um, KDE is, takes a passive stance in supporting the community to get this done. And this is different from the setup of, of many other organizations where either um, the, the, the central group takes a very active influence on uh, where the project is going, or where um, a dominating sponsor over time um, starts to influence where the project goes. And, I think that this is one of the reasons why the KDE community over such a long period of time, more than 15 years now, um, was able to, to continue innovating, to um, focus on technical merit uh, during development, to, um, to still attract developers, and I think where it is today. So I think that makes KDE very special and it's a um, successful model of how um, an organization can support a community in, in getting its work done. And which challenges do you see for the future of KDEV? Challenges for the future of KDEV? Well, first of all, since KDEV is a supporting organization, it doesn't really face challenges on its own, or not directly. The challenges are on KDE as a community, where at the moment we're um, changing from developing the the desktop or being the desktop project for the free software environment, um, we're changing to, towards becoming in like a ecosystem of communities under um, with a common interest developing applications in the desktop for um, the free software users. So um, KDE is changing, and KDEV needs to well follow along with these changes to um, continue to represent the community and. Since the community will become more diverse and will attract other groups that um, so far were maybe independent, um, it needs to change so that it also represents 
uh, or still represents everybody who is involved um, in KDE. And for that, I think it might need to um, be even more representative for, for the different parts of the communities. Um, and another thing is that at the moment, um, the biggest influence in KDE in general are still technical contributors and we need to um, make sure that we hear all the voices and um, are listening to everybody who has an important um, say and, and contributions to KDE. And which plans do you have for you in the future with KDE and open source? Okay, well, last year I um, started teaching at university in Berlin about open source and intellectual property. And one of the things I researched there is um, how open source communities are governed, how they um, are run, and what actually makes a really open open source community. Where we know that it's not just about the source code, it's also about how the community works. And on one hand, KDE is a great um, sample for this kind of research because it's one of the communities that is really run by volunteers and um, has found its own way of how it works. Um, on the other hand, I think that KDE also can benefit from this research as it can help shape where this new setup for the community um, can go, how we can um, integrate all these other um, projects better. Uh, for example, how we can help uh, or how we can um, model KDEV for the future. So um, it will kind of be more complex contributions in terms of more thinking and more writing and less coding. But I still think it's going to be fun and uh, KDE will benefit from it. Cool. And how do you feel when you think about what KDE has become? I'll say in the beginning. Okay. Um, I'm really proud of what KDE has achieved. So we always have to keep in mind where we came from. In 96, 97, FWVM was the dominating window manager and um, if you've ever used it, it was not fun. And KDE set out to, well, revolutionize the free software desktop to make it fun and productive. Um, and I think we've achieved that and we've had like four iterations of the um, desktop environment and they were all innovative and they were all interesting and great achievements. So from that point of view, I'm, I'm really proud of what KDE has achieved. And I'm also really excited about this, these changes to um, become even more um, inviting to um, other projects that want to work on the Linux desktop. So um, yeah, I'm quite proud of what we have achieved and I'm looking forward to the next years in KDE. Okay, thank you, Marco. And the yeah. KDEV for the 15 KDE, years. 15 years. Yeah.